Hi everyone, good afternoon and welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me. I am recording this on Tuesday the 17th of March. Um, and as a quick disclaimer, this is an adult only colouring channel and my videos are in no way intended for or aimed at children. Okay, so in this video I thought I would film a colouring chat um, just to sort of have a bit of a catch up with you guys and just chat about a few things. Um, so yeah, we'll just we'll dive straight in and um, we'll, we'll have a chat as we go. So I'm going to be colouring from Steampunk Darlings by Hannah Lynn. I haven't really chosen a page to be honest I'm not they're all just the pictures in here are all beautiful I've only coloured one I think yeah this one that was some time ago oh, they're all really pretty should we just should we go for the first one it saves flipping through the book doesn't it let's do that so let me get some um just get two sheets of printer paper just to put behind to protect my next image and then i will zoom in a little touch there we go okay let's see if we need to move the light in a smidge <clears throat> okay right i think we're good Oh my goodness. Okay, so how is everyone? How are you all doing? I hope you're all well. Like you're having a good good week so far. I I wasn't sure whether to do videos or not but after sort of thinking about it for a little while I thought do you know what if anyone else out there is as anxious as me about the whole COVID-19 um, situation at the moment then you know I think we would all appreciate just a, a little bit of escapism from from that at the minute so you know I know it's playing hugely on um on my anxiety which I've been struggling with anyway so this is just sort of it's just another another thing to add to the add to the pile of things that I worry about <laughs> but, um yeah I I I don't want to sort of make this video all about the COVID-19 I, I don't but I just want to say my bit first and then we can move on from it so um last week i took emmy my youngest to the doctors on thursday well i i, I had to fill in an online um they call it an e-consult form and then you get an email back letting you know you know you wait for a doctor or a, you know a, a nurse or someone to call you to let you know sort of you know to have a chat with and then they can let you know if they think you need an appointment or not um anyway they called me back and they said yep yeah, you know bring her in we'll have a look at her um anyway they oh my goodness they put emmy's cough um down to a regular virus she wasn't running a temperature or anything like that and the advice was to just continue as I had been giving her um, copal and ibuprofen because she had a sore throat as well. So that was that. Anyway, um, Caden started developing a cough and it has really rapidly gone downhill. And he, rather than his cough get better or stay the same, it's it's been getting progressively worse and it, it sounds horrendous so for him i filled in an e-consult form yesterday and then we had this really really lovely lady um a really lovely uh doctor from there 
she no she wasn't a doctor i don't think was she a doctor or was she a staff nurse I, one of the two anyway she was really lovely she called me back i was giving her like you know all of his symptoms and stuff and she was like look i don't think we're going to want to take any risks it sounds like he has a chest infection so i will do you a prescription some antibiotics which the prescription will get emailed straight down to your local pharmacy um do not bring him over the surgery and i was like right okay fine and she said look you know just to be on the safe side you need to self-isolate for seven days so i was like okay fine no worries whatever we need to do well of course last night the government here in the uk um they have said that if you're self-isolating it now has to be for uh 14 days so it's like oh my goodness so yeah <laughs> it's uh it's, it's all go so um yeah we are we are self-isolating um so that means that we have all three of the kids home from school um so the schools are aware they you know i called them early this morning um i did call uh, the little ones primary school yesterday actually after the phone call with the the doctor and um yeah the schools have been they've been really really great about it um but i forgot to ask if we can get any work sent home or if they have like any um specific websites that we can use um for the kids so that they have some stuff to be able to do at home um but i did say to aaron early i'm gonna like you know come up with some stuff to do at home with them as well while they're off so i'm gonna sit and get my thinking cap on later <laughs> and try and come up with some things i can do i think with emmy i i want to do like some flashcards and try and get her to use the words that i put on each flashcard and put them together to make sentences and you know practice some spellings and just keep on top of her reading and stuff so um <clears throat> but yeah like i said we are now oh my goodness we are uh, self-isolating for two weeks now so How, how are you guys all doing because like I said I know it's a huge worry and there's so much concern and obviously like the whole grocery shopping situation is is crazy so what what are you guys doing what are you you know are you struggling with who is self-isolating So, you know, given the situation, I just want to make this or continue to make this a channel where you feel safe, you feel comfortable and it just, you know, gives you, gives you a little bit of, a little bit of escapism from reality, if you like. But I just wanted to get our situation out there first. And then, like I said earlier, we can move, move the conversation swiftly on. think it's safe to say that this Cali art marker <laughs> is dark. Yeah, can you see that this, you know, the tip of it's like white and stuff now? I think it's the same the other side. That's, uh, yeah. And the side of it is uh, pretty much done as well. 
Oh, we managed to get her skin done. So <laughs> that's something to be grateful for, isn't it? <clears throat> okay, let's give her some red lips. Oh, so yeah, I think, um, you know, by the sounds of it, it's... I, th I personally think it's only a matter of time before the schools are closed here. There is one in our city that was shut last week. Um, I don't know as of today if there's been any more shut down. But um, yeah, I know. Yeah, I know at the moment of just the one. But like I said, it's a worrying time for everyone. And hopefully this will just give you all a little bit of escape from it all. But I do want to say that, you know, just given my anxiety at the moment and, you know, now all of this um, worry with um, Caden as well, um... You know, and us being quarantined, well, not quarantined, um, in self-isolation, same kind of thing, I guess. Um, I've put the requested pictures um, on hold for a minute, and I've just been colouring whatever I, you know, whatever sort of speaking to me at the time. So I hope you guys don't mind. I will get back to the requested pages. Um... <clears throat> But as as for right now, um, it's just uh, I just need to do what you know what what feel best. And I know you guys are amazing. You understand. So just to let you know, I haven't forgotten about the requested videos, but they are just on the back burner for now. Let's give her some really lovely green eyes so if you guys are colouring what are you all working on at the moment what have you all been colouring <clears throat> I do need to um, get on top of um, like comments and things as well because I'm, I'm just really far behind on all of it I've, uh, yeah, I've just really, really fallen so far behind with so much. Um, sorry, don't mind me wrestling around. I'm just looking, looking for some colours. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I, I, uh, What was I saying? Oh, I don't know. It's gone. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, I've just been sort of colouring what's appealing to me at the moment. I coloured two mandalas. Yes, was it yesterday or the day before? I, I can't. I'm, oh, this is a thing. There's so much going on. I'm just sort of losing track of like days and stuff. It's, uh, <laughs> it's crazy, crazy mad. So I'm just using a mixture of markers on her. As you saw, I uh, based her skin with a Cali Art marker. I'm using Bic Intensity Ultra Fines. These used to be the, the Bic, Bic markings, same thing. Um, and I did use a sharpie ultra fine point uh, just now so I'm just using a mixture of markers and stuff at the minute I ordered the brand new book Spooklets volume one by the fabulous Carla Magana I ordered that like literally I think it was like 1am yesterday morning and it was supposed to come today 
but I think just because of everything that's going on in the world at the moment, um, there's been a delay, so I don't think I will be getting that book until... Oh, when did the email say? I think it's either the end of this week or beginning of next week sometime, I think. So there's quite a considerable delay, but that's okay. It's all right. So the three kittens are all doing really, really well. They are thriving. They are two weeks old today. Where on earth has that time gone? It's flown by, really has. They're just like little little balls of fluff. You can hold them in your hands. So cute. So so cute. And Luna's she she's such an amazing mummy to them. I know I've said that in uh, previous videos. But yeah, she's she's doing amazing, bless her. She's doing a really, really, really good job. A wearing in the background. That's our uh, that's our temple dryer. We've got some laundry in there drying at the moment. So but my goodness, it was oh it came in really cold last night. That was the coldest night we've had in a little while. Yeah, it came in really, really chilly, so... We had the heating on for ages last night, just to make sure we kept the house nice and warm for everyone. What's the weather like where you guys are? It's not been too bad here the last few days we've you know it's still chilly but yeah last night the temperatures really must have dropped because you could definitely feel the chill in the air in you know even inside you could just feel that drop in temperature so I knew I wanted to um, <clears throat> spend some time with you all and uh, get some videos done today. I wasn't sure what to do, but um, I sat at the desk, stuck some nails on, <laughs> and I was like, right, what what do I feel like colouring? And um, I just automatically went for a Hannah Lynn book. So. I've done the same as I did in my last video where I've got my, um, to the left of me, I've got my salt lamp on and um, I've got two candles burning. So. Just trying to create a nice, calm atmosphere. If you hear background noise, that'll be either the neighbours or my kids. But, um... Yeah, we'll uh, hopefully get some work. I was sent home from the schools, so. And Caden, bless him, he came in to me earlier and he was like, can I do my spellings now? And should I go get my reading? And I was just like, yeah, you can, we'll do that, but you know, we, we'll do it a bit later. 
Um, so we will get it done. So how many of you have this book? I've had mine for quite some time. I definitely need to put a colour in it more. This colour is looking really pretty on her hair with the, the green eyes. It's looking lovely. So I'm pleased with that. <clears throat> they do her outfit all in like browns and beiges and stuff. And they do some nice gold there. Uh, details with them um, with gel pens and stuff I think we'll do that I watched a few more episodes of The Walking Dead yesterday I'm at the end of nearly at the end of season 5 I think I'm on episode 10 or episode 11 of series 5 so getting there slowly but surely and I did I did fall asleep early last night fell asleep early and then I think I was awake for a little while and then I fell back asleep which you know was good because that's so rare that that happens so I was really grateful to you know get a, a good a good amount of sleep Louis cowled up over on the, he's over on, over there on the back of the sofa. <laughs> he's cowled up over there, bless him. He's staying in out of the cold. Luna is upstairs with the babies, and Stitch and Link are. They're in the house somewhere. They're probably upstairs, either in the girls' room or mine and Aaron's room. It must have been raining earlier because uh, when I looked outside, all the pavements and stuff were all wet. So it had been raining at some point. get this base of marker down for her hair and then um, we'll add a little bit of shading I think I do want to throw in a second colour for some strands in her hair which I will do as well.
to ch charge my phone, I think. I'll plug the, um, whoops. Let's plug the charger in a second and do that. Sorry if I'm, whoops, nudging the camera. There we go. There we go. <coughs> Might as well plug it in and charge it while I've got the, the cable right next to me. So I know that there's some of you who, you know, you've been struggling with your anxiety as well. There's others of you who you've had surgery and you're recovering. Um, you know, others of you, you've been poorly. Um, so how, how are you guys doing? I hope those of you who have been unwell feel better really, really soon. And for those of you um, who have had surgery, I'm wishing you a speedy recovery and sending you lots and lots of love and hugs. I know it can't be um, it can't be any fun. Oh my goodness! I've got a really itchy ear. It keeps it keeps irritating me. It's Mother's Day here on Sunday in the UK. So I don't think we're going to be able to go to my mum's, which I'm, I'm gutted about. Um, but we just, I don't know, we'll, we'll, we'll figure something out. <clears throat> I really want to try and um, do a live stream soon. It's been so long since I've done a live stream, and I just, I just want to try it, you know. And if I think it's too much, then I, you know, I'll be honest. Let's use. Hmm. Let's see what other kind of brownie colours I've got amongst the um the bit markings. It might be easier if I just tip the bag of markers out. What's that? Harvest orange. Ooh. Let's try this. Can live with that. That will look quite pretty, I think. Mm. I think we'll add like a, a brownish tone to her hair as well in a few places notice that there's um Easter eggs out at our local shop. It'll be Easter before we know it.
So I'm not putting loads of this um, harvest orange colour in her hair, but just, you know, just a, a little bit, just to throw in a different, a different tone, just so the hair's not one flat colour. So, yeah, if, if, you know, me trying to do a live stream is something that you guys would, you know, would enjoy, then please feel free to let me know down in the comments. I'm hopefully going to spend some time this afternoon, actually, um, catching up and replying to comments and stuff. Um, I don't always have time to reply to all of them. Um, if it's a question directed at me, then I will, you know, I will reply to that as best as I can. Um, but anything else, I will, um, if you see a heart, to click that I've, um, liked the comment, I've, you know, clicked on the heart, then it shows that I've read the comment and I've acknowledged it. So if you see that then you know that I've I've read your message. I've read your comment. I just find that <clears throat> you know, when I get left a lot of comments, it it just gets really overwhelming trying to reply to each and every single one and it just it takes so long and I just I don't always have time for that so you know but I do want you to know that I've read your messages and I've acknowledged them so that's what the you know me clicking on the heart means I think I'm going to leave that for that colour for now. Let's, hmm, let's see what this is. This is praline in a Cali Art marker. Oh, I might I'll use this on her hat actually. I know I said I was going to do her, like, uh, shade her skin and stuff. Just thinking while well, I've got the my colour out that I like. Quickly use it up. <laughs> I love Hannah's artwork, it's so beautiful. I love the way she draws her girls and especially their hair. Oh my gosh. So pretty. Colour looks nice, doesn't it? Looks nice against the the red red tones in her hair. Okay, so just 
going around these bits as best as I can and then I'll go in with the um the bullet nib in a, in a minute just to get into all the little small fiddly places just go around it as best I can just to get the the bulk of the colour filled in. Oh I'm not having much luck with my canyards. do what I've done with the skin tail and just hopefully keep working at it until I've got the coverage that I want. <laughs> I think it's safe to say that, you know, the majority of the Cali Arts now have run out. But I want to use up like every last little bit of ink. So that's why there's quite a few in the bag that I've not not brought myself to dispose of yet because it's like oh, still just get a little bit more, a little bit more. This might just add to, like, give the hat a little bit of texture. <sighs> okay. Just try and go in around all the little fiddly spots. I've uh, learnt that I need to just work on one page at a time as well because I'm just getting myself really overwhelmed when I'm trying to do like a few, you know, a few different pages. So I think I need to just stick to, you know, one page. Just do one at a time. Let's see if that, um, see if that helps. Do you guys do that? Do you just do like one page at a time? Or can you have like a couple of pages on the go at the same time? Okay. Let's see what other colours I've got here. for choice with some colours I think um okay I think I'm gonna make <clears throat> let me see now I'm gonna make these bits dark here I'm 
her outfit. There. And in here on her bodice, we'll, we'll do that with the oh my goodness, with this dark brow. This is a Cali art, and it's bitter chocolate. So, really lovely, rich, deep brown. So, we use that here. Caden to do his next lot of antibiotics in about two hours. He was not impressed with the taste of them this morning. The first spoonful he spat out. But okay, I'm actually going to use this colour for the um, second bit down here of her skirt as well I think, the underneath layer here, we'll use that. I'm hoping that Caden will be much better with his next, his next dose of medicine. <clears throat> we'll do this bit here as well. I did say to him that yeah, the medicine wouldn't taste great, but it was important that he takes it to help him get better. He was better on the second spoonful though, so <laughs> hopefully he knows what to expect now. But I, I get it, you know, it's not pleasant, it's the, you know, fluorescent yellow stuff. But... Okay, so this is dark yellow. Oh, that's nice. I like that colour a lot. Let's, okay, let's use this up here. I'm going to use my um, Crayola pencils and Crayola twistable pencils to um, to shade this one. So the next time you see this page will be in my March completed pages. to um, 
continue working on some whips as well. <coughs> but as I said just now, my lovelies, I'm just, you know, taking things day at a time, just see what I feel like colouring at the time. The other day it was all about whips and I finished like three, three whips in the space of like a day, a day and a half. So that was really cool. That was a really good, good productive day. I think I want to do her gloves the same colour as I do the top bit here of her bodice. So let's do the top layer of her skirt in this dark yellow colour as well. That'll look quite nice. This colour is looking nice, I like it. dark brown on these cuffs on her sleeves okay I'll do the same on that one it just breaks up that color a little bit <laughs> They need to be um, restocking some of my markers. <laughs> but you know, it's good because you you can see that you know they're they're well loved and they're they're well used. That's the whole point, isn't it? There's no point having lovely supplies sat there and then not using them. <coughs> Let's see if the sharpie's working any better. Not too bad. That's a bit better. Just give that a coat over that big intensity. Like so. So that one is done as well. 
Oh my goodness. Um, let's see what um. see what are their sort of brown kind of colours I've got this is a Tian Helm okay let's see that's quite nice that's like a red like a red brown hmm yeah that'll work should we do that yeah why not yeah let's just do it why not why not Okay, that's lovely. I like that colour. That is really pretty. Let's do her. <clears throat> Let's do her gloves in this colour as well. And that'll look really nice, I think. Really pretty. I'm really sorry that I'm quiet in this video. <laughs> I thought at the start, I thought, yeah, I'll, you know, say what I need to say about the coronavirus and stuff. And then we can just chat and the, the chit chat is just not, it's just not coming. I feel really bad. But I hope that you know just by me sat here coloring that you know that lots of you still feel like you have my company and that we're sat together like old friends over the table from each other coloring having a coffee colour down here is I think that might be a bit much oh I don't know um no that's okay we'll we'll put the we'll put that here This little pop of green on her eyes is, yeah, really stands out. And hopefully, once they're shaded and they've got a bit of sparkle added to them, they'll really, really pop on the page. So let's do that side. This side. And then I'm 
company going with? Um, <clears throat> this Bic Intensity Ultra Fine, which is Tiki Hut Tan. So I'm going to use this for the frills here on her on her top and on her gloves so we'll do that and then I'll do the same here and it's just keeping it all cohesive and here on this one Excuse me. Okay. Do the laces on her bodice as well. I think what I'll do, I will um, sit and listen to this video back and if I think that there's just way too much silence then I'm not even sure if this will be uploaded, but we'll see. Right, so let's go in <clears throat> the dark, dark green. There's some a leaf here that I want to. I want to do these dark. And then I want to go back in. Where was that? Um, is it this one? Yeah, the bitter chocolate. I'm going to put that here on 
this bit of her gloves. on her top like that and then let's okay we've missed a bit here with the brown haven't we okay that was the sharpie I think that bit okay then let's do a little should we do a little red bow and then that'll match her lipstick that might look quite pretty let's do that a little red bow light green oh I get this okay, let's have a look it's sharpie that'll do so we do these leaves a lighter green feathers grey I don't know if I want to do them grey or not um, yeah why not let's just okay let's do these grey this is a Tian Hao marker and this is BG3 I'm using on the feathers. So I think as you've probably gathered I'm just basing the whole thing now before we go in with the <coughs> Crayola twistables and pencils and stuff. sure what colour to do the background. Oops. Let's move these. 
I think that would look quite pretty. Yeah, nice. I really like that. That's really nice. Very pretty. And then let's go for a nice pinky. Pinky colour. So I think I'm going to leave this video over here and then um, I'll decide, <sighs> excuse me, I will decide on um, like colours and stuff for the background and do some shading and stuff. So like I said, the next time you see her will be in um, March's completed pages. So if I upload this, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, and I'm sorry it was a quieter one. If I don't upload this, then you won't see it anyway. So it doesn't even matter. <laughs> Thank you for watching. And I'll see you all again really soon. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Lots of love. Bye.